What is up, Retro Maniacs? Welcome to the Retro Card Chat Podcast. My name is Mike, and I'm from Mike's Retro Trading Cards. And you know, they say with great power comes great responsibility, which is a great thing for us because we have no power. So we can be totally <laughs> irresponsible on this podcast because nobody's going to hold us accountable, right? I love it. It's I love it. Do. Yes. <laughs> and as always, I'm joined by these two guys, Joe Day, E.P. Eric Pahalik, the two best co-hosts, I guess you're called. And what the else? whole hobby right here, these two guys. <laughs> How you doing, Zero boys? responsibility. Zero yep. responsibility. Oh, <laughs> thank, you for the com- thank you for the compliments. And yes, I enjoy being irresponsible on this podcast for sure. Yes, Why yes. would anybody <laughs> give us responsibility? Like if you knew us, you would know that, yeah, maybe not. Maybe that we shouldn't give that. I mean, I if you know. need someone those to run guys, a paper. You're give those guys responsibility? Yeah. No. If you need Let's someone to run a paper, that. call EP. But other than that, I mean, that's it. <laughs> Joe, it looks like you're on the road again. Yes, I am. World it, was my, uh, it was my little cousin's wedding. Uh, my cousin Leah, uh, I had a couple of drinks. That's why I'm not <laughs> having a couple of drinks this morning. Just a couple. Um, just a couple. Two, 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 tree, two tree drinks and uh, every hour or so. Um, yeah, I put in a full shift. I was, we, we, we were, we were drinking for eight hours yesterday. So I put in a full, a full shift at the office. Uh, so I'm feeling it. I'm not gonna lie. I got my, I got my Gatorade, got my backup Gatorade. I got a coffee, can of coffee. Uh, I'm not, no beer for me. EP, you have to take the reins over. Did you restock your beer after last week? Yes. Yes, I do. I have a perpetual IPA. So I'm going to, from Trogues Brewing Company, potential sponsor, Pennsylvania Brewing Company. So potential. Yeah. I actually went to. Speaking of which, I sent you boys a picture. Uh, Rob and I went to Lancaster Brewing Company in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Actually, really good. I don't know if you, you guys have ever had their beers, hmm. but uh, I, I was I was a fan. We got a six pack. I'm not gonna have one today, that's for sure. But maybe next week I'll have a Lancaster Brewing Company beer. Did you wear your shirt? Did you ask them about the sponsorship? Well, that's the only thing I talk about when I go to any breweries now. I'm like, oh, oh, how, yeah. how can you be a part of this podcast? Is what I say. And uh, yeah, they get, they roll get their you on the ground floor. Get you on the ground floor. <laughs> yeah, they get you right at the ground. Let ground me level. talk to you about how our podcast can help, can you. help LBC. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. Yeah. So I'm waiting on that call, EP. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Joe Day, hungover. Who would have guessed that? I don't know. <laughs> Especially Maybe. after a wedding. Who would have guessed it? Yeah, who right, would have right. guessed it? Yeah. So. <laughs> well, you know, safe travels out there. I mean, you seem to do it all the time, but. Yeah, uh, crazy. Good, good. When are you going home? Are you going today, tomorrow? Well, I went home Sunday, yesterday. Sunday afternoon. Oh, so you're so, already home. I'm okay. already home. This is just a fake background. Green screen. Green screen. <laughs> the vibe that I'm still in Lancaster because we film live, obviously, on Mondays. Obviously. But yes, this is the, this is the, I took a picture of the hotel room. Okay. Put in okay. the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. <laughs> it's just something that he likes to do when he goes up yeah. and goes away. Why not? And to, Why take not? Take a photo of the room and make it a background. Joe doesn't it's really not, go anywhere. He just changes it's all his green screen. screen. Yeah. It's not that piano bullshit that, that yeah. screen, uh, what it was this called? StreamYard gives you in the background. No, no, yeah, it's not, not that, that really nice room. Room. This is this you got is the my high green quality screen. stuff there. Yeah, <laughs> right, the, right. The Amazon green screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how's it going, EP? What's new and exciting? I'm um, doing great. Um, I'm kind of excited. I had a really good card show yesterday. We went to the or Saturday. Went to the, the card show on Saturday, um, <laughs> and uh, I, was, I set up again and had a you know I just I, I took um I took money out of the bank to make sure I had enough money if I wanted to, to buy or whatever, I ended up leaving it in my car and had, and, and the car, the money that I had in, in my one pocket was enough to cover my table fees and was like all my profit and that sort of stuff. And I had a really, really good day. I sold, sold quite a bit of stuff and um, even sold like a ton of stuff from like my 50 cent box. And my, I, I had somebody who went through literally every card in my 10 cent box and pulled wow. out. His, like, I think, I think he ended up taking like, like, 150 cards or something like that i gave him yeah wow. gave, gave him a good deal on it i mean like because again like like you said one time somebody took a, a bunch there and gave me like like five bucks out of that that thing and there's like somebody handing a five dollar bill for almost nothing right yeah. so yeah really, really cool good stuff awesome i saw you at the show right mm-hmm. so you're there wheeling and dealing 
Yeah. EP at a show. Dealing. Oh, oh, Man, this guy, he he's a shark. He is a shark. I did, <laughs> I, I did, I did buy a, a, a little mini collection type thing. Um, a $50 box of binders. Um, it was 50 bucks, but it, it is like loaded with like somebody it is a national super collector, which doesn't sound great, but there are some Bryce Harper's and Eric, <laughs> Trey, Trey Turner's, but it has like every one of the parallels for the like the, the tops products so you're talking mm -hmm. the gold gold sparkles green sparkles red sparkles the the regular golds all that sort of stuff so just like I tons thought Panini only did stuff like so, that Jesus oh no yeah. no everybody's since like 2012 everybody's been doing that I was gonna ask EP did it have anything from 2012 in that <laughs> yeah, had, collection that you bought had that? so much 2012 stuff when I saw somebody flipping through them I saw a just it was a, a binder page full of Ginter Alan Ginter and Gypsy Queen minis from like 2012 and man, it was just, it was, I was like, oh, what is that? <laughs> that's, when I, that's when I went over and inserted myself in the conversation. And pretty Name much your <laughs> price. I am in. Take my money. I'll go out to the car if I have to. <laughs> my big wad of then, sweaty money out in the car, I'll go get for this then, binder. Th then I also made um, the quickest flip I've ever in my entire life, where I bought $40 worth of um, uh, parallels from card show kevin right behind me after that made, made that purchase he gave me well he didn't give me i, I paid for him i paid 40 dollars for a stack of like retail blues um retail reds a bunch of gold sparkles diamonds cognacs all that sort of stuff and within an hour somebody came up and was like what, what, how, what are you doing a bunch of breaking what's what do you got over there like just pointed to the cards i hadn't put them away or anything and i was like well i just i just just bought, bought them he said well i own a card he said, i own a card shop in north carolina and he's like how much uh how much you pay for it if you don't mind me asking i said 40 bucks and i'll give you 60 bucks right now i was like i'm just gonna list them all on ebay i would have fun like going through them but i'll take the 20 dollars profit right now for sure yeah, he would said, have said i paid 100 for them like i never <laughs> right, right. i'm not telling you what i paid for them <laughs> I, well i was just happy when to, i happy say you can never money. go you can never go broke taking a profit right I right mean, right and it's always i mean way. i was gonna make i'd list them on ebay they would take probably take forever to sell 25 cents a card would be my profit per card but for him, he said that he's a, a card shop. I said, so I need your need your story. You need to find what happened. He actually started collecting Otani before the boom, so he had some major league cards, and then he you know ended up selling some ridiculous Otani cards. He had a bunch of Brady's that he had graded, um, that you know just some amazing stuff. Ended up opening the shop in North Carolina. He said those kinds of cards they might sit on the shelf for a little bit, but they sell for two bucks every day all, all day long to people coming in building sets that sort of that sort of stuff. So I was like happy to make that connection with him, I sell the cars obviously and get the $20 profit, but then also to make that connection with him and, and find out about this road this, trip this shop. And I got his, I got his Instagram and I said, if I'm ever in North Carolina, I'm definitely stopping in. So yeah, very, very cool. You're not going to be that far away on vacation, right? Like Delaware, uh, De Delaware, Delaware is a little farther. Pretty much the same North thing, Carolina. right? Just have to go south. Yeah, go Beth south. Bethany beach, Bethany beach is <laughs> way not south enough to be North Carolina. It is. It's like almost to Maryland. Like it's practically. You're practically. All you have there. to do is go like five hours through Virginia, and you're golden. <laughs> we li we literally distance. travel for like six hours to get to our vacation spot. You're going to five more hours? No, negative, sir. Yeah. Well, not with that attitude. <laughs> Come on, man. Definitely. Well, you know, yesterday I had a dealer at the show just give me this Michael Jordan. You mean you Saturday, Mike? And you mean Saturday, not yesterday. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, yeah Saturday. Of course. Yeah, not yesterday. <laughs> Look at that. Very cool. That's hand that card, is card at me here. Take it. Now, there's a story. There will be a story I'm going to say about this card, but I'm not going to tell it yet. A little bit of a teaser. It's going to be something in the works, but this card has a story to tell, and it's going to have another story to tell, and. At some point, maybe I don't know, late July, we'll tell the story. So, Wait, what's happening in late July? I don't understand. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm picking a random point in time. Who knows? <laughs> you, know, you know how I am. There's yeah. nothing cryptic about it being late July at all. But honestly, I'm kind I, of I surprised think... it was your also your three card this week. It was, spoiler <laughs> alert! It was not your three card. This it week. was free. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could have. I, like, I didn't pay anything for it. I can't say it's expensive, right? I think we need to make sure that everybody understands the book value or like the, the comp. What are the comps for that card? 
what, what's the... I didn't even look them up. They're hundreds okay. of dollars. It's probably yeah, sixty, hundred, at least sixty bucks, hundred bucks, probably like right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a really, it's a nice, it's a, yeah. it's a really nice. I mean, I have a, the, the Alonzo from that. I think did you give me that Alonzo or did I, you or, or Rob? Uh, my buddy Rob gave me that that my the Alonzo from that set, which that's an awesome, awesome set, awesome card. I think Rob must have because I think I sold one hmm. in a stack sale not too long ago, so yeah. he must have had it. And that's not the only card. I was given. We had our audio podcast super fan Brent Heinzelman stop by the card show just to see EP and I, not Joe, because Joe too busy to come in to see That's Brent. Fair. That's fair. We heard all about. It. He wanted to buy us like dinner somewhere. Too, yeah, but because yeah, Joe wasn't there, we didn't get dinner. So thanks a lot, Joe. <laughs> but. Brent being the great guy is, by the way, Brent was a customer in my shop when he was a little kid. He mm -hmm. was into cards. His dad came in like clockwork every Christmas time and bought Topps factory sets for him. <laughs> and he brought this beauty, 1992 Fleer Ultra, Ken Griffey Jr., PSA 10. The only downside, Brent said this, I can't smell the card, like, <laughs> unfortunately. But, you know, still, thank you so much. and. Also, Ric Flair, 91 and Pelvis, nice. PSA 10. Like, <laughs> That's old that school label, crazy. too. That is crazy. Look yeah. at that stuff. So, <laughs> That's an old school player. Huge thank you from me to Brent and EP. You probably have thank yous to give to him, too, right? I do. I do. I do not have the cards with me. They are still in my boxes from the show, and so I forgot to get them out. Way to be prepared, yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's that's my favorite. <laughs> but but I, I'm a, I'm doing an extra. My one of my my extra innings this week is going to be my card show haul, which I, I also got a, I bought a repack from somebody. So I want to go through the repack that I bought, and also the the gifts from from Brent. EP, so teasing you, making you watch the Saturday video yep, to find yep. out what he got. Okay, smart, I, I'm smart, for it. good job, EP. But and what's the thing is, Brent's not going to see this in because he's the audio audio podcast listener anyway. So yeah. um, I, I didn't recognize him at first. But he'll know you don't this. have him because we talked about it. Well, yeah, sure, sure. But but <laughs> but anyhow, uh, what he what he, I do remember what he gave me because it, it's freaking amazing. Uh, sorry for cussing, but he gave me a PSA eight. Clear Ultra Kobe Bryant rookie card. He literally gave me the card that I that I sat there and like was sweating over to make the trade with Mike Jones. He gave me a PSA eight Kobe Bryant Fleer Ultra rookie card. The actual one that I made the trade for. The, the, that 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 card right there. Obviously not the one. Not that the I pulled. actual one. Not the one that I pulled. Unless but he went and beat up have... Mike Jones for it. Right, right, Maybe right. He did. No, I, I'm guessing that probably didn't, probably didn't happen. We didn't they, ask. They, they, he bought it from Mike <laughs> Jones and then <laughs> sent it to get it graded. I don't think that's the case. I don't think he did that. Oh, but okay. I do have that card now. So it's a, it's very, very cool. It was awesome. And a PSA 10 Tiki Barber Crown Royale rookie card. Like Pacific Crown Royale rookie card. Like, like I was, I'm like, I can't. And then, so he actually, he, I mean, I, I mean obviously, he's been talking for a while when we were talking. And um, he was going through all of my stuff. He go through my $5 box. My four, four for four for ten box. He's going through. He started going through my one dollar box. He's going through all my all my stuff. Had a huge stack of cards. And as he he says, okay, I'm ready to check out. And he puts it on the thing. And I grab the cards he gave me and put them on the on the case to say, okay, well, this is going to be part of the trade. He's like, no, it's not. You put that put that aside and made me give him a fair price that didn't include those cards because I was like, I was going to give him like I was probably going to give him away those cards just because of what he did. And uh, he said, no, we're not we're not doing doing that. So I still gave him a good deal, obviously. On, on some of the stuff and he's uh, tried to give me an extra five dollars it's like nope please just 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 take, take the take the 40 so it was it was cool it was uh it was it that's was, ep it was awesome. in a nutshell EP did you notice i didn't, didn't try to give bren anything right, i right, was like I mean. you know thank you man this means a lot to me thank you so much this was so nice of you and he's like can like, i go get more stuff. money for you wait i got more money <laughs> in my car, car. I, I got more read. money in the car <laughs> EP ends up trading like ten times what he would actually buy the card for. Yeah. But I mean, like, the thing is that, like, the, like there the was such an awesome gift. I probably would have done that. Like, I probably been okay with that just because, like, holy cra <laughs> holy crap! I was I was not expecting that at all. Um, I was it was cool that he he showed up to to say hi to us, and and that was it was awesome. It was good. It was very cool. Yeah, I feel Texas. like you're you're like you're disrespecting the gift giver if you're trying to give them something it's a gift they're trying it to is do true. something nice out of the kindness of their heart which i know for you is tough to understand ep but there <laughs> are people in the world that do really nice things well at least one of them because brent's the only person like that well no that's not true because i also got this from bill anderson who runs Docs card shop in Danville, PA. If you're in Danville, go to Docs. If you're not doing it, you're not doing it right. But yeah, 
I mean, free cards. I love, <laughs> I love this. This free job. cards are cool. I, I, I do want to say say one more thing before I forget, and I just, just thought about this. I made a trade as well. I had a Michael Jordan and Chris Mullen like wall hang thing that I just gave to Card Show Kevin at the show. He's a, he's a, he, oh, Michael Jordan's one of his PC guys. He says he's gonna probably put it up in his choir room, and because they have a little like, basketball hoop there. And so then afterward, he re, he um he was like doing a deal with somebody. He like leaned back and said, "Here, this is this is for the trade for the uh, the wall hang," and it was a Tiki Barber, a, a in person autograph Tiki Barber from 1997 Pinnacle Express, I think it was. But it was a Pinnacle. It was a Tiki Barber on card autograph, um, in person autograph. So it was very very cool. But very uh, cool trade in my opinion. So, you did that. not know the perks of having that Mike's retro trading cards T-shirt, did you? I didn't, didn't know. I didn't. <laughs> you didn't know. Now you know. Now you and know. other people have those perks, though, is the question. Look well, below. look below. <laughs> you yourself can have those perks. Mike's retro trading cards. You could shirts and hoodies and available now. hoodies available. And you know, pretty soon Joe will be modeling the hoodie on I'm the podcast. Modeling part. is a right. good way to put it. 3XL. <laughs> No one else is putting three XLs out there. Come on now. Exactly. You need, if you're a card collector, you know. Except for Brent. Is Brent still scrawny? Oh, Brent. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, he's not yeah, scrawny. Yeah. He's he's like very almost nice. Yeah, yeah, human, yeah, human, like, he's human size. This is he's what size. people should look like. <laughs> oh, okay. So he looks normal. He doesn't look and not us size, us. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. okay. Yeah, it was really good <laughs> to see Brent. I haven't yep. seen him like I, I don't even know when the last time I yeah, probably I said, the last I, time I, I didn't recognize him shop. until he said his name. I was like, oh crap, that's Brent. Yeah, it is Brent. Yeah, I, like, I, re like, I recognized him like very shortly after he came over. Like it took me a minute, but I was like, right. oh, that that's Brent. Holy crap! <laughs> and Joe, you would have gotten a gift too, but you weren't there. So that's yeah. fine. I understand. Actually, I, I'll, he, I'll tell you he, what. he gave me that what? gift to give. He gave me the gift to give to you <sighs> next time I see you. So I, I, he figured I'd probably see you before. Because he only comes up, you know, like once a yeah. year or something like that. So, well, you know what? You should the show it for a like lot. late July, something like that. Oh, maybe okay. if some we right. see each other in late July, right. is that is it um, possible? Probably, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, he texts he text me about the show quite a bit. He is an audience. I keep telling him, dude, you're missing so much content <laughs> by not going to the YouTube channel. You're missing <laughs> at two more shows a week. So, Brent, <laughs> if you're listening to this, which I know you are on Wednesdays, <laughs> right, Mike? The audio no, that Monday Tuesday. night that's usually up now. Oh, is it okay? Yeah. When you're listening to this Monday night, Tuesday morning, subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. You're missing <laughs> so much great content. He doesn't I, I did have a, time. He doesn't. Have time. <laughs> I did ask him about how he like. Some, like I, I said, did you start listening to it because of you know because of us or like how, how did this all come about? And then he said he he saw that um, Mike had created a Facebook page for my retro trading cards. And then a little bit later was, you know, realized that there was a podcast. And then he, so he actually, actually like did like a, a, like a marathon listening of everything that we had done up, up to that point. And then wow. now listen, he like waits all for gold. our show to come out every, all every gold. gold. Yeah. He, we, gold. <laughs> We've been this one. good episode since episode one. day one. Yeah. Yeah. Episode one for yep. sure. <laughs> Boy, we looked a little younger back then already. My a little bit. It's kind of crazy. Ooh, it's yeah. kind of crazy when you look back. But yeah, two like, all right. Like, like, like the present, how the presidency presidency ages people. The podcast ages us. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah, yes. For I, sure. I think the camera adds ten pounds to fifty, 50 <laughs> at least at least hundred. I don't know fifty pounds. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, let's get into it, boys. There was actually an update Sunday morning on the Michael Jordan PMG story that we gave last week. Uh, ben posted a, a video early Sunday morning, and the results are in. The paternity... Oh, wait, no. no paternity. <laughs> I, I forgot what I was talking about. I, th I had like a, a Jerry Springer moment there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, apparently, shocker. BGS mislabeled the card. The card was apparently in their system as a regular metal universe that was altered, but somehow ended up with the PMG on the label. Mm -hmm. So this opens up a lot of new questions to me, but at least we know, I mean, pretty much everybody this was the assumption of what it would be. Mm -hmm. It had to have been mislabeled. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, uh, Ben has a teleconference meeting with BGS and eBay management on Wednesday to explain the situation and see what's going to happen from there. But uh, 
my question out of all this is still the seller. If like if that was sent in by the seller as a regular Michael Jordan metal universe and BGS mislabeled it, when you got it back, why would you sell it as a PMG? Where's I'm my sorry. Wallet? Where's my wallet, Mike? Yeah. That's why. <laughs> like, like the, but, the seller's just trying to make money at that point. I, I don't like I'm sorry if I don't have all the information and I don't know something, I apologize. But this to me from the beginning, I still feel like the seller has a hell of a lot of responsibility in this and doesn't seems to kind of be getting off scot-free by everybody. Yeah. Like I don't hear people calling out the seller, but like I've been selling on eBay from, for like 25 plus years. Like you, you know what happened there. Like if you sent that in as a regular card, I don't, I don't know. Like unless he sent it in as a PMG and they knew it wasn't, but then they accidentally mislabeled it. Like that's a whole lot of coincidences coming together. Is the hard word for me to say all together at one time <laughs> that I yeah. don't, I don't know. I, I just, I think a lot of this falls on the seller, but like, who like BGS screwed up, but they're they're not gonna take that kind of a hit. They probably don't even have that kind of money laying around to take the hit. <laughs> I'm not even joking about that. I wish Wait. I was, <laughs> but like I don't know. Like, what do we see happening here? Is Beckett gonna fix it? Is eBay gonna fix it? Or is Ben gonna be screwed? Someone's gotta fix it, right? I mean, you like, would hope, like, because you know, I said on uh, the first time we talked about this, you know, Ben needed to do more research as all buyers do. You need to be more vigilant about it. That being said, there are a lot of people that screwed up along the way that caused him or cost him $23,000. Right. So whether it's a seller, whether it's BGS, I don't, I don't know what e eBay's recourse is this far out with the seller either. Like, no, they can could, they, they, they could do I'm what sure, you're, they yeah. could yeah. do yeah. something, I'm sure. But like, like someone needs to make Ben whole for this, because while I, I do stand with what I said, that you need to be more vigilant as a buyer at the end of the day, someone screwed him out of $23,000. Mm. I don't care who it is. Someone's got to pay it. And we kind of talked about this on the pod last week. You know, this this was definitely a possibility that BGS mislabeled this thing. And so to me, it, it kind of reminds me of the uh, we mentioned this too. the the what was the set that had the fake auto? They weren't fake autos. They were facsimile yeah. autos that through the, the years through the years thing. Years, right. That had yeah. the autograph. And to me, it feels like the seller knew it wasn't a P Come on. Like. You can't tell me the seller didn't know it wasn't a PMG. Come on. I'm, I'm with better. you there. I'm yeah. with you. There. And, and he's, he, if he wasn't the one who did this, he got taken for a ride too. I need to see the life, the life of this card. I need to know where it started and how we got to this. I would love to hear that backstory because if he wasn't the one who red marker did or self red self or whatever they did it was apparently red marker, I guess. It that, looked really good it, for red geez, marker. Yeah, That's kind of surprising. I think that I think Ben said I could be wrong, but I'm I think that Ben said that they confirmed that it was like it was red marker. In. Yeah. That's just absolutely crazy. So I need to I need I need more I need more background from the, the seller. He's never gonna give the background. He's gonna play innocent. Obviously, he's gonna be like well, that's how I bought it from a collection and I sent it off because I thought it was a PMG or whatever. And I but can't take the $23,000 I can't take the, 20 the card that I never had that right. was never worth it's that It's not a loss. Right. You should have gotten $23,000 <laughs> for it. You should have gotten $2 for it. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I want to, and I didn't do this before the, the show, but I, I want to, Ben had posted the BGS um, cert information. I want to know I need to look back and see what the cert information said, because if it didn't say PMG, I'm sure he would have mentioned that. Right. Mm -hmm. But in their system, they're saying, Oh, it's not a PMG. Well, why is the cert page say it's a PMG? Do you know what I mean? Like, I, oh, I mean, that, that, me. that would explain why the, the cert information that the seller sent to him was blacked out 
right? Remember, wasn't wasn't that blacked out? Like, like I don't. So remember, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. The submission uh, yeah, information yeah. was blacked out. I, I when you look up the the B uh, the BGS cert number, oh, okay, right, he, just... he showed that information. So okay. I'm guessing not only did they mislabel it, but in their system that the public can see, it said it was a PMG, right? Mm -hmm. So like. Hmm. Uh, say what you will, and, and I was the most critical of Ben on the show, but say what you will, if you're looking up that cert number and it's telling you something, I don't care what their internal stuff is telling them because right. I can't see that, right? So right. so uh, that's ridiculous that they can he can go to their cert page and it says Red PMG, Michael Jordan, whatever, but internally it says something different. I don't that, think it actually does say something different. Yeah. Right. I that think they kinda... looked at the card again. Yes. That kind of makes me think that the original person sent it in as a PMG and then they realized it wasn't and then they didn't switch it though in their system, which right. is why the label ended up printing right. that way. That would be my guess. Go or, ahead. or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was going to say, or <laughs> BGS looked at the card again and was like, Oh shit! We better say in our internal yeah. servers it Wait. said it's not a PMG. Oh no, we we already took care of it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, my that's bad. true. You know? yeah. That's more they're likely. Co they're covering yeah. their asses. Sorry. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, I mean, I feel like first off, I want to say I'm glad that Ben is getting some answers, and he's at, like, I'm glad that they set up this meeting with you know, uh, BGS and, and and eBay, like to have this uh, this conference or whatever. That's a that's that's a huge step in the right direction for him. Obviously, I don't think it's like he, it, like he needs to be made whole. They're, they need to figure that part out. That's 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 the end of this. Well, not, maybe not the end of it, but that's a better at least for for him at least some some closure there. But I feel like th there are there are a couple things here. First off. This is another example where, please, grading companies, show us the process. How does this kind of thing happen? If you show us the process, uh, there are a lot of hot collectors. Like my, I, I would be very interested in watching a, a almost in-depth video, like an hour-long video about everything that goes on as, as far as grading, like like how it happens. Show show us that process. Like we don't need to reveal details of somebody's card or their personal information, but show us the, the process from when you get it from the shipping department and you know, through the through the whole thing, or maybe have the have the card. The journey of the card from the shipping department to to like through the entire process to where it gets slabbed to where it goes through Q and A all that sort of stuff. I let, let us see that stuff that that would give us more confidence in in this whole process. It, it, any company, please, please, please do that for us. BGS, I mean, you, you could could use some good good publicity anyway, so that would be good for you. Uh, the second thing is we talked I talked about the dealer last week and I said about how if you're saying all the time with these you know for every step of the process when you're selling like that's a big deal. I, I had a thought when we were talking about it that maybe he sent it in as a, a PMG. Sure. And, and if he did, then he's trying to pull the wool. But if he sent it, if, if maybe um, again, maybe the seller didn't do that. If, but, but um, if, maybe he didn't do the, the coloring in, but if you send it in as a, a metal universe card and they mislabeled it as a P as a PMG, which that probably didn't happen. Right. There's, there's no way. But even then, if you got that back and he said a PMG and you're like, well, well, I mean, it must be a PMG. If they, they said it's a PMG and then sell as a PMG again, you're trying to pull a wool over somebody's eyes. I mean, you had to know it wasn't a PMG. Like just, just like I'm not there's no way you can look sure at that card and not it is a PMG EP. I'm that not, would be like nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just yeah, looking at what he sent Ben as the here, I self submitted it. I didn't buy it. Graded. Mm, this okay. is how I submitted. It. I'm 90 percent sure. I should have gone back and rewatched the first video, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he did submit it like that, which again, either he got the wool pulled over his eyes right? or more likely he saw the card was like, oh, maybe I can sneak something through. Hmm. You know, I mean, may, it's possible too that, I mean, there are a lot of people, I, I'm not, I, we don't know the situation and that's what we're saying. We want to know more about the seller side of this. Like I would love to hear that story. So we're not just speculating, but you know, it could have been a situation where you got a bunch of cards in and you saw that and you're like, oh my God, oh my God. And like, like right. put it in a holder right. and like did everything and sent it in without really looking at it. Right. Because that's the kind of card, the condition doesn't even Does matter. Not like, matter. You get that, yeah. you're grading it. So mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I am a little suspicious of the seller, but it is completely possible that he could have gotten it in, was super excited to have that and just didn't even take the time to realize that it didn't have the number on the back or more importantly, the precious metal gems on the front. So that is possible. I can, I can also see a, a, a point where again, I would rather if he did, but I can also see a point where he's like, he, this is a $23,000 sale that he 
is potentially going to lose. I can see why he's being quiet about it, not saying too much just because like he wants to keep the $23,000, whether he, again, whether it was like, like, like a thing where he didn't know or a thing that he, that he did know it's still $23,000. So, but at the end of the day, like, Oh yeah. Yeah. Right I, I don't, like, I'm not saying it's right. You but now I'm, know that it isn't what it was. How, how can you feel good about selling that? I know uh, there is a segment of this hobby that would ab be absolutely fine with that, but you yes. are trash if you feel that way. Yep. The card you sold is not that. Clearly isn't that. The company made a mistake. Like, I, I don't, you really need to do the right thing. You didn't lose out on $23,000 because you never had it. And like, there is a clear right thing to do from the seller here. And they're not, not in any hurry to do it. But one point I really want to make here is for the people who hate on PSA, if this were a PSA card, there would be no issue about right. the money going back in his pocket. But right. because Beckett is trash, everybody has to be, well, we know Beckett's not going to give him the money. I, I will say, I'm sorry, Beckett, if they decide to do it. Might be a good thing to do for some PR, but then they're probably worried, yeah, but if we do this for him, all the other screw-ups we have, we're going to have to pay for. But PSA, they stand behind what they have in that slab and what they have on that label. So if they screwed up, they're going to say, okay, we screwed up, and they're going to be financially responsible for it. Beckett isn't. So like it, it's really, that's a very, very important part here. If it was in a PSA slab, this wouldn't be the issue it is. Yeah. If it was in a PSA slab because of that upcharge insurance we talked about a few weeks ago. Well, right, Mike? I mean, here's, <laughs> it might be, it might be all of our of orders is paying for it. Yeah. But <laughs> right, at least right, right. it is there for the people with $23,000 cards. <laughs> right, right, right. The, the the people who got up charged from like a fifteen dollar fee to like a hundred and fifty dollar fee on a on a thousand dollar card are like, wait a minute, so I paid for Ben buying this twenty three thousand dollar fake Jordan. Oh. When you when you when you said you want to know what you know the seller, you know, maybe he got this in and didn't know. I'm like, yeah, but he's leaving red fingerprints all over the place. Because well, all yeah. the marker is wearing off on his hand. It's like, where's all this red ink coming from? How did this happen? Am I bleeding? <laughs> or or you could say caught red handed. Oh, there it is. Oh, nice. Red handed. No. no. I, to, to your point about the the hobby, Mike, and the segment of people in the hobby would be okay with it. There was a there was a point during the show, like the, the dealers will say, "Hey, can you watch my table for a minute while they go to the bathroom or get food or, or go check other tables out?" And there was a, a point where I was like talking to a customer, and I turned around, and Kevin was gone, and uh, everybody everybody else was still there, and I thought to myself, "Oh my gosh, did the rapture happen?" And he was the only one out of the entire card show. The leftovers. That was, that was taking was one was of the two. That works out. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, that actually checks out. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, you know, we should have hopefully an update on this, the conclusion next week, and we'll let you know when it happens. But, uh, but one, one, one last thing about that. Hopefully, we do also hear from eBay about their authentication program. We, we didn't throw them under the bus enough, I don't think. If they're going to have an authentication program, it needs to be an actual authentication program. It can't just be, oh, the slab's not cracked. We're good. Like, it needs to be an actual, especially if they start charging for it, which I feel like every everything, I, every vibe I get is eventually they're going to start charging for the service. If you're going to start charging for it, I want to get my money's worth. And I want you to actually look at the freaking card. Sorry for swearing. I want, to, I want you to actually look at the card and tell me the card's real. I don't give a shit if the slab is a little cracked or there's something going on with that. I want to know the card in the slab is real. So eBay bears some responsibility here and PSA through eBay bears some responsibility here for the authentication process. Something needs to get handled with that. I don't think I'm out, out on an island on this one. Okay. I know well, it's going to be part of the conversation. You're, sure. you're going to get pushback in the comments though, because you're going to have people and rightfully so say that you can't, determine a lot of things about the card in the slab and that is true but i think there needs in this to be, case you can't <laughs> well there needs to be, there needs to be a hybrid like there needs to be an exception for clear and obvious 
mistakes. Mm -hmm. Like if there is a numbering issue on the card, something that you can see, like you don't have to pull it out and, and like really be able to check that card, see it in the raw condition. But like things, if it's missing precious metal gems and the numbering, you know that that's not a real card. Like there are a lot of issues like that. If there are a lot of cases where, cards are slabbed with maybe the wrong parallel on it. Like you can tell if it's not the right parallel. So that I think what needs to happen is yes, they like the little minutia of it, like you can't check in the slab, but there needs to be an exception for like clear and obvious, mm-hmm. you know, defect in the card that you can especially high dollar. Them, yeah. Go that uh, this is not what it says it is. So we can't pass it. Yes. Even though they have this label on it, this company is clearly wrong. That's not what it is. We can tell that just by looking at it in the slab. Like there, like there's gray areas and everything. Not everything's black and white. I understand that if you're looking at, well, that card's actually a seven, not a nine. They can't right. tell that's that. That's different. In the slab. Yeah, right. That's different for sure. They, but if something, if something is clearly not what it says it is. No. There needs to be PSE needs to go. Hey eBay, we don't feel comfortable authenticating this because we're pretty sure, even though the slab looks fine, like the cracks or whatever, there's nothing wrong with the actual slab. There's something wrong with the actual card here, and maybe maybe you should have a conversation with the buyer and seller because at that point, shit like this is going to happen, right? At we least said this put on the brakes and have a. Right? A little discussion about how it. many cards does Ben have that he may not know are fake, right? Like, right. like because shit just gets passed through all the time. Yeah. This, this this hobby this hobby drives the card making card card uh, making industry, the trading card industry, and um, e- eBay is like eBay is the the place, right? They they deal with more volume. We talk about that. It seems like every week we talk about that. They deal with it, all the volume. If they're going to have an authentic- authentication problem, they have to get it right. Like they have to do this, right? Like they just have yeah. to. Yep. Well, speaking of cracked slabs, if you've <laughs> gotten any of the new PSA slabs, apparently you might think that your slab has been cracked. There has been, I've seen a lot of different people. I saw people posting pictures on Twitter about stuff and I didn't really catch like people are saying, is this a, is this a hair? Is that a fingernail in my car? What is going on here? And it turns out that the new slabs have something that they're calling flow lines. <laughs> the flow line, I don't know if it's whose term. It's probably a technical term, but mm-hmm. it still mm-hmm. sounds kind of funny. Okay. But, I mean, it, it looks like a crack. It literally looks like a crack or a hair trapped in the slab. And a lot of people are showing pictures of this. And... PSA originally responded, I saw on Twitter within the customer service, originally responded basically saying, oh, they're just flow lines. Yeah, you'll see them, but they're they're not cracked, so there's nothing to worry about. They won't damage your card. I mean, tell me that you work for PSA and you have literally no idea how the card industry <laughs> works. You're going to tell somebody that thing that looks like a crack or a hair or a fingernail in their slab isn't a big deal. You don't have to worry about that. Like, hello, meet the hobby. Hello. Yeah. But <laughs> right. uh, it ends up that they are, well, at least in the one specific case I saw, they were letting the person send it back to be reholdered, but not, because not great. Nat, I believe, I believe Nat was the well, one that, who was like, I haven't send seen this, that. Yeah. Send this in because customer service was not giving them a good answer. Like you but, said, Mike, I think I it was mean, Nat who they're gonna I'm, i don't know if this it seems like a known issue because if customer service knew the name and had all that it has to be a known issue because they know nothing about what's going on so if it got down to them it clearly has to be a problem but people aren't gonna like this like this is a big problem if people like, i don't want that card and i'm not super picky but i don't want these little things that look like cracks or hairs in my psa slabs and right. kind of cost them a lot of money if you have to keep having people send them back and reholdering them and are the new holders going to be okay like if, i don't know how widespread the problem is but i did see 
multiple different posts. It took like till the third or fourth one this week before I really dug into what was going on because, uh, you know, people, I'm like, oh yeah, that does look like a fingernail in your card. But like I kept scrolling, but after I kept seeing it and seeing it and a couple of accounts I follow actually had it happen to them. Yeah, uh, not good. Are we take it off in a spaceship? There's a spaceship outside. I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> wow, pretty awesome. But yeah, they Wild. they must agree with with our take on PSA yeah. there. But right? yeah, not not good. Not good. I, I mean, someone said to you, Mike, I want to buy this graded card from you, but if you send it and it has any scratches on it, I don't want it. I like. <laughs> So legit, that legit yeah, happened, yeah. people. Yes, yes, yes. So like, and people are very, very picky about their slaps, as they should be. You're paying for a service. You're paying for them to encapsulate your card, potentially to display it, potentially to resell it. So I, 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 I totally get it. I, I mean, I'm the most OCD person on this on this little panel here. I, it would drive me nuts. It would <laughs> drive me absolutely nuts to the yeah, point where I'd know. be like, can I get? The old, it would drive all you nuts. It would drive me nuts the most, but it would definitely yeah, by drive far, all yeah. Nuts. yeah, yeah. But like, like at what point do you say, can I just get the old slab because I didn't have this problem? <laughs> like, can I request the old slab? Is that possible? <laughs> and I, I understand that they want to improve it. And that you know, it's it's medical grade plastic, and and you know, you can run over it with a car or whatever. Yeah, that's great. Unless there's something that looks like a fingernail on my guard. It I looks want, like I it's already what, broken. <laughs> right, right, exactly. So, yeah, they, I mean, everything's great until it's not, right? So, yeah, or PSA is probably like, oh, these slabs, everyone's going to love them. They look so much clearer and they look so much nicer. And then all of a sudden, fingernails are in, you know, looks uh, or hairs are in, in, in people's cards and they're losing their mind. I, I mean, they got to do, they got to do something to, to correct this because card people are a fickle bunch and they are not going to, if it was on the back of the card, maybe it wouldn't be as big of a, or back of the slab, it wouldn't be as big of a deal, but man, when it's right up front on the card, <laughs> yeah, we got some issues. And a lot of them yeah. are at where like the divider, like the support thing that yeah. holds the card in place, mm -hmm. like the end of them. So a lot of or them, the corners of the so card right, right up above yeah. the corners of the card yeah. on the front and, and back. And you can see it both sides. Once without yeah. flow lines will be worth more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to write down a couple of things. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to get distracted by what Joe said. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But I agree. Or by the spaceship Joe. coming down behind. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right. There are any more spaceships. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, but, but anyhow, yeah. So like, uh, I, I agree hundred percent. Like people are like, I, I, I'm not happy if I have scratches on my slabs when I get them back from, you know, like, so my, my, my first thought was they, they're okay to send it back. How to get through Q and a in the first place. Like, like, what, what, do they go through the Q and a process? Does this happen in shipping? If that happens. In I shipping, guess then because how... it was a known issue that maybe they thought people weren't going to be well, upset that's the... about. I, well, that's are they new? Answer. Are you new yeah. to this hobby, yeah. sir? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like if, they, people... if they knew about it, then what? Go back and fix right. the slabs. Like, don't don't right. send these to people. You th there's only people are gonna be okay with this. My, and my my first thing I wrote down was flow lines in quotes. Flow lines did so when they called the PR department. Did they just make up that shit on the on this on the spot? Like, hey, we need, to, we need to we need to cover <laughs> C, C, CYA here. We need to figure out what to call. Like, we need a name for these things. <laughs> or if it is uh, was such a well known thing, go back and fix the slabs. Like you're making a big deal about these brand new slabs. Go back and like d don't right. send them out there with this. Like yeah. th that's that's insane to me. And I, I, just a, one last point: the one photo definitely was like a like the the flow line was super yellow. I don't know if it was the the, the lighting or, or or whatever it was. But if that that's like it's like I said, like a, a gross fingernail on top. No, that's just a fingernail. Like a gross fingernail. Like it was <laughs> right. it was really like bad looking. Like I don't understand how. They let that get through. Like that's get yeah, like again. If you're trying to get people, and that fingernail was on a people. that fingernail was on a hand of someone doing breaks, and Mike's yeah. losing his Probably mind a, as he's watching. It was a YouTube content <laughs> you know, sports card content creator <laughs> with the fingernails. You guys yeah, look. Used, you break, watch. Break used. You watch. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That was a, that was a break used uh, break used fingernail. Uh, well, I mean, I'm sure PSA will fix, and it's not every slab, but mm -hmm. just. You know, if you have an order with PSA, double check your order and look for these when you get them back to make sure you don't have any that have them in it. Because I don't want to buy your card if there's a fingernail in there. Maybe if it's maybe a known put, issue, it should get past Q and A. Like that, that should not get past Q and A, right? Put in the PSA submission form. No flow lines, please. 
<laughs> you slap a no flow line. Special request. Yeah. Oh, that'll be an extra upcharge of uh, yeah, five dollars to not have a dead fingernail in your uh, in your slap flow line slap. <laughs> well, all I know is if you are bidding on one of these cards with a flow line on eBay, you're not going to be able to say no. I'm not going to pay for it anymore because <laughs> they're apparently rolling out finally the automatic payment on bids on auctions on ebay i actually had this happen myself i won a barry sanders pro bowl die cut card from pacific and when i signed in uh, before i went to place the bid i got the little pop-up like having me confirm my payment what i was going to use and then it said that your card will be charged within an hour at the end of the auction and apparently that you know this is how ebay does it not everybody gets this at first but i guess it is an option that the seller can turn on or off so you can re require the automatic payment or not if you're the seller but yeah i mean they're finally getting that step i like i've heard all the arguments for people that don't want to i'm sorry if you're buying this pay for it like that's <laughs> your i there is no issue with this people will come up with all their different issues and why but i'm not buying into them this is a great thing especially with all of the shill bidding and the unpaid items anymore on ebay like it seems to be like going through twitter like everybody that has a valuable card is just like not getting paid for it because people mess around tons of shill bidding on stuff this is going to help eliminate a lot of it there will always be people out there that'll manipulate a system i understand but if we can eliminate a huge part of the problem i'm all in on it i think it's a great idea and nobody's going to tell me different i was going to ask who are the people who are against it the people who are against it are either shill bidders or just like to have fun with auctions and screw around with people's money i i mean i no one can give me a legitimate reason to be against this like the most common ones are people well i want to buy more than one card from this seller and i want combined shipping and the other well i i get four days to pay for it and i get paid in two days so i want to pay for it then kind of thing uh, my answer to that first of all is if your seller is a good seller they can refund you yeah. part of I do the it all shipping the amount. I do, I do it all, all the time. time too because eBay's combined shipping, I've talked about it how many times over and over again. It's horrible. Their system's horrible. I often will have people that buy multiple items and I can't even combine the order. So I have to have them pay for all the shipping, but I, I can ship it all together and refund them. That's what people can do. It's not hard to yeah. do. You know, that if you want to sell on eBay, you want to sell a card, great way to do it. Like I it just, that's a dumb reason. And the other one, if you don't have the money at the time it's being sold too bad, I'm right. sorry, too bad. <laughs> why are you bidding? Yeah. Like, why are you right. bidding if, you don't, if you're not going to pay right. for it? Right? And if you get paid in two days, that doesn't mean your credit card still exactly. doesn't have money you can on put it on a like, credit card and pay it a credit card and then in two days guess what you won't get interest if you pay it in two days if you pay down <laughs> your credit card in two days so it, the people are just reaching i i mean mm -hmm. this is to me it's it's a big story because it's finally happening but it's also a non-story like how is this still in the year of our lord 2024 how is this still going on <laughs> that people don't think they should automatically get charged for something they bid on and win i, I just if you don't want the card don't bid on it. If you can't afford the card, don't bid on it. <laughs> if you're freaking out about shipping, you know, the auction is probably at least three days. Maybe reach out to the buyer or the seller and say, <laughs> hey, if I win multiple auctions, you'll combine shipping, right? Maybe check that ahead of time. You know, like there is a big contact seller button you can click on and it'll it's like almost like instant messenger. <laughs> so just do that if you have a question about the shipping. It's just people grasping at anything because either they want to try and game the system or they're just being contrarian about it. Yeah, I agree on everything that's been said so far. There's zero argument that this shouldn't be a thing that has already or has or should have already happened, right? Like there's there's no doubt in my mind. I talked to yeah, like two seconds sure. ago about eBay being the biggest volume. The biggest way that people transact cards is you know, across the, the the actually the whole world, right? Our our, our, our universe. 
by far. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so like how like how is the snap mapping going through? Like we we and we've talked about it multiple times before too. Like when you are bidding and you are doing a buy it now, you are saying yes, you're you are um starting a contract with the the, the seller and you're part of exactly. part of completing that contract is paying for it. Like mm -hmm. if you if you don't have the money, don't bid on it. Wait for the next one. Like it, it just you, you just the, there's the bottom line. You, you know, the, there's no there's it's your argument here. Like you wouldn't be able to go like I, I can't think of a really good um, for for an auction. I can't think of a, re a really good comparison. But like you're not going to go into the grocery store and say, listen, I get paid in two days. So I'm right. going to take these groceries I mean, now. The, I'm going to take well, these, these now. But and I'll, I'll, I'll come back in in two days card, and you, you guys. Right. Those people exactly. will pay with a credit card and then pay off their credit card in two days. Like right. it's such a bullshit argument yeah. that that people are using. It's crazy. Yeah, and like if you go to a live auction, you're like, okay, I'll right. come back yeah. in a couple days after I get nope. paid. No, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> so no. yeah, it's ridiculous, and I, I'm glad they're finally, finally going to find a way to eliminate some of this. I don't care about the complainers. I just don't care. Your complaints aren't justified. Like the biggest problem is people not paying and shill bidding and anything that can help that is a positive, I, like huge net positive. You can take your little things, your little areas, your one in a million, you know, incidents that'll come up. That'll be a problem, but we'll take that. Right. Well, the, uh, those one in a million things will, Blood social media though. That's oh, the problem. Of course. Things like Twitter. Works. It's like, oh, the five see? people. Just see, screw. this yeah. is why you shouldn't oh, do it. Yeah. This is why it ruined like, the hobby right here. Like flow lines on PSA slab. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Or like Shohei Otani being guilty and everything being a cover up by Major League Baseball. <laughs> well, it turns out this week, since, you know, we like to update stories that we yeah. do on here doesn't happen very often on hobby youtube i'm just saying but <laughs> ipe mitsuhara pled guilty to bank and wire fraud he faces 33 years in prison Jeez. for taking a lot of money from shohei otani and using it to gamble with a bookie and major league baseball did put out i now i know how people are and it's not gonna <laughs> matter but there has been a criminal investigation into this and major league baseball has also investigated it and everything was found that what was said that he was doing is the truth. Shohei Otani is the victim here. So I know there's going to probably be comments below people saying, yeah, but it, like, no, it's done. And Joe, you were one of them. I know you thought this oh, was yeah. a huge cover up. I mean, but it's totally still is, right? We agree on that. No, no, it is <laughs> not. It is clearly not. So we're, yeah, we're at the, the, the government is not involved in the whole cover up for Shohei Otani. They might be involved in a lot sure? of other cover ups. There are many. I don't think you're making the point you think you are, Mike. Many, many, many channels on YouTube to check out your... all the things that the government's doing. So just go watch with my eyes. I can see with my own eyes the truth. But, I can see the truth. Yeah. Yep. We're not Alex Jones in this one anymore. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking Buy our supplements one. down below. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was thinking about this actually uh, unrelated to to cards earlier today and like do you guys are familiar with the Occam's razor the the concept mm -hmm. the theory of Occam's razor where yep. the the typically if you have a, a, something something happening the simplest answer is usually the correct answer right, right. and like conspiracy I, I like conspiracies I don't believe I believe in so very few conspiracies just because most of the time it's not they're they're not really it's not really a thing like there's it's I mean like other than loaded boxes going to influence <laughs> and yeah, the moon sure. landing. <laughs> exactly Green exactly screen. and <laughs> the earth being round <laughs> yep no. so on. anyhow yeah i, I like so conspiracy like, i i'm not i like this and I, the, to think that the government would be involved in a conspiracy with a major league baseball player is just ludicrous like there, there's just there's no way like the, like the, the amount of people that would have to be involved for this to be an actual thing that would happen like, and especially in the day of social media, there is absolutely no way like something would have come out by now. Like there, there would have been something 100 percent would have right. come out. Someone by would now. have. Yeah. Like this, this, would have I, I feel like this right. is everything. Everything is above the board. Please, if you the, don't conspiracies are, are really they're not they're very they're extremely rare. That these kinds of things happen. So. 
unless it benefits both parties in the American politics. If it benefits both parties, then there's probably conspiracy there. But otherwise, no. You do believe that the Earth Earth is flat, though, right? Like, no, it is, dude. There are anybody horizons. watching? Do we have any flat earthers watching? Let us know in the comment comments. Below. Yeah, comment below. In the comments. <laughs> we'll have you on. So, so I agree, we'll Mike. Definitely that, have you on. Yeah, Mike, I I totally agree that this is a huge conspiracy cover up. So I'm I'm with you on that. Um, okay. No, no. Once the government got involved, I'm like, ah, it's probably not. I, I when it was just the MLB saying, oh, Shohei did nothing wrong. I'm like, uh, they have a vested interest in believing that right. he did nothing wrong. But once it was actually investigated. Like I said before, man, dude should invest in some Rosetta Stone. He'd still have like tens of millions of dollars that were <laughs> stolen from him. But um, I, I, the only thing I want to say about Shohei Otani is, did you see him get strike uh, struck out by uh, Skeens? Skeens, I heard about that. I didn't see it, but yeah, I heard about it. Yeah. I, I, there, you know, but, then, but, then, but then the next time he came up and Otani like hit one out of the park. Like the I think next at bat he he took him took him yard. I think. Uh, sure. No, the Pirates won one nothing that game. Oh, did they? Okay, maybe it was yeah. the next day. But yeah, they did. And okay. Skeens wasn't playing the next day. I'm, I'm, I thought for sure I was talking to Bill. Bill, and I'm pretty sure that Otani hit. I thought Otani hit home run the next. Uh, he might have in the series, okay. not in the next at bat. It was one nothing. But I will say this: How Tops now does not have a Paul Skeens striking out Shohei Otani. That's a conspiracy. <laughs> that's against the Pirates, <laughs> sons of bitches. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> that that is is I, on I Major think, League Baseball. I think that UFO that was at EP <laughs> Friday must have sucked me up into it because <laughs> I just sat here listening to Joe Day and EP talk about baseball. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't I can't do this. I gotta go. <laughs> oh wow. Well, you know, if Shohei wouldn't have lost all those millions of dollars, he could have bought the highest priced Michael Jordan basketball card ever. Yes, I am on my game today. You're killing the transitions, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Did you see the 2003 Ultimate collection, ultimate logo signature, one of one of Michael Jordan, just recently sold for $2.9 million, making it the highest Michael Jordan card sale of all time. That's crazy. It was PSA graded authentic with an auto grade of a 10. The cool thing about this story is it was in somebody's personal collection from the time it came out. And it wasn't even graded until 2022. What and year did you say it was, Mike? 2003, 2003, Ultimate Collection. I mean, you know, National Treasure is flawless. This is what <laughs> gave birth to all that stuff. Like, yeah. you look at the card, and it looks just like a card. And that's out of LeBron's out of rookie kind of year set, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. But that's, yep. That adds a whole other Look at the basketball guy with the basketball knowledge, too. I mean... Dude, wow. just get hammered at a wedding the night before, and all of a sudden, baseball and You're basketball like Will Ferrell, knowledge. Will Ferrell from old school. <laughs> I just blacked out there. Did I talk about baseball for a solid five minutes? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but 2.9 million. I mean, you know, a lot of high price stuff has gone down, but I think one thing is clear in this hobby is the truly rare special collectibles yeah. are always going to have and i think always continue to appreciate and value like i don't have the money for this card but like i saw that card you had a stock sale recently i did I, close. I, I, <laughs> I'm close but i have to buy the bed so yeah fair, it really is a beautiful card like i would really truly like to have that in my collection so you know any anybody out there want to buy viewers. it for me send it to me <laughs> just go right ahead and do that because yeah. i can't afford it <laughs> oh i don't know you want to talk about anything else let's talk let's talk i saw ep you're the huge baseball oh i don't know maybe i should throw it to joe now i'll throw it to you <laughs> i mean because you're <laughs> baseball knowledge he's more the collector i just have okay to okay <laughs> yeah top series two baseball Surprise autographs in it. Victor Wembanyama and CJ Stroud. Now, I know I'm not a baseball expert, but Joe, are they baseball players? They are not. And <laughs> not okay. only that, not only that, I'm the one who sent you guys this story via text. Mm -hmm. Again, yep. baseball. It's my new thing. I might buy a baseball card now. 
Just one. <laughs> no, yeah. My first one. My first one ever. But no, they are not. But finally, Fanatics doing something with those exclusives, huh? <laughs> yeah. Cool. What else can they do? <laughs> right. <laughs> Cool. They have They're, to put them in other products because they whose body the is it? It's their head, but whose body is it? The, <laughs> They're gonna what was superimpose that? their face on something. Superimpose. <laughs> Who was that? Who was the wow. guy that they did for Brady? <laughs> what was the guy's oh, name? Oh gosh, uh, uh, Darren Fletcher. I think it was Darren, Darren Fletcher, Fletcher. Right? It yeah, wasn't yeah, Tom yeah, Brady. Yeah. I know that for a fact. <laughs> Darren Fletcher's body with Victor <laughs> Webb and Yama's head would be glorious. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you guys. Oh. After I after Joe sent this information, I changed my mind. I I got three cases. I got three cases coming. I'm get I'm getting this card, baby. No, I didn't. I didn't. This is this did not move the needle for me on series two. Um, if anything, I'm gonna try to get some blasters. I won't ever pull this card. This is probably gonna be a super hard pull. I didn't look at the odds. There's only it, but... ten of the duels. Oh, yeah. Like, so total 10, 10, well, 10. eleven. Isn't there a one of one? And then ten. Yeah. yeah so probably yeah. eleven. Uh, They're not eleven out of all the top series two. Yeah, they're gonna right. Print. There's gonna be yeah. so much of it, right? So and I think cool Stroud to have that has... lottery ticket. In it. Stroud has yeah. 99 individual ones. I believe, right, right, but no individual so. Mumbanyamas, right? Just, I didn't just see any. Stroud. No, I just saw yeah. only Stroud. Yeah, so so I'm I'm definitely not. I'm never gonna own this card. If I did, I would sell it immediately. One of the things I thought was kind of weird was that if you look if if you look at the the dual auto, it's got Wembenyama and Stroud, but then it has Houston Astros and New York Yankees yeah. as the teams, and so I don't know exactly what that means, but. I'm interested to see what the card looks like. It'll show up on social, social media, I'm sure. But I don't know. Will they be superimposed on a Yankees player and an Astros player? Like, well, they got and, drafted by them. Didn't you hear that? They're I, women Yama start... did not get drafted by the MLB team at all. Are you sure? I thought <laughs> I'm he pretty did. sure. Drown? I thought they were going to play baseball. I mean, game. honestly, you said that. And I'm like, maybe. I, I like I honestly <laughs> didn't know. I would yeah, pay I... good money to see Victor Wembanyama try to hit a baseball. Like yeah. to just play baseball, somebody, period. His to, size. See him running. See him running in the outfield at that size. How far back would the catcher have to step, like set up from him so he did get hit by his long arm? He'd be robbing home runs by not jumping. Just oh yeah, yeah. he yeah. just got put his it. hand up. Got it. I, I, wow. That seriously though, I was curious too. EP, like I get the Houston Astros thing, right? I yeah. I mean, there's not a San Antonio football team, or yeah, there's not a San Antonio baseball team, so mm. I guess they couldn't. Do that. I don't know if Webin Yama's randomly what? a Yankees fan. I, I like. I was yeah. curious on why that they picked those two teams. They could do Bra They could do Astros and Rangers, and the Rangers won the World Series last year. Why not do two Texas teams? But instead, they yeah. did the Yankees, the Yankees and the Braves, or the Yankees. The Yankees and just and the, they're the worst. No one likes the Yankees. the Yankees. Yankees fans are such front runner fans. <laughs> Big D bags. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> that's me right. yeah. <laughs> put those comments below in care of joe day please. Yeah, right, right. Him. i don't want anything to do with this yeah uh well you know i've dropped this date in late july a couple times this podcast wow i don't know there's one other thing i feel like is going on at the end of july but i can't quite put my finger on it and I wanted to talk about it, but I, I can't remember what it is. Anybody? Any ideas? Uh, is dude, it... are you not watching content on YouTube? That's what all the content creators <laughs> are talking about. That's, a, that's what you're, that's your meaning. They start talking about this in January. They need to fill the fill the stations up. They yeah. put their, start putting the countdown on their social media in January. I still don't know what you're talking about. What? It, what? Dude, the National. Thanks, on, man. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes the national i kid i kid i kid i'm such a jokester uh yeah what do you think guys i just figured maybe we'd take a couple minutes at the end of the podcast since everybody's talking about it just some initial thoughts are we getting excited that the time is drawing near like i i finally feel like now it's almost time like before. Okay. We're going to the national, but it's like July, the end of July, not a big deal. But now I'm like, Oh, it, it's happening, happening soon. So what do you think? Getting excited. I was, I was at an outdoor wedding yesterday and it was so damn hot. Right. <laughs> I was and just thinking, thinking the same thing. I'm Go thinking, ahead. oh, awesome. The national in July. 
big fat sweaty men in a room together. This is going to be <laughs> awesome. It's the first thing I thought. Um, luckily, though, not in Atlantic City this year. We will all survive. The murder rate oh was God. ridiculous. What we all it? died. One and a half to three we million died. people yeah. died at the national in two years ago in, in Atlantic City. No, I, I am getting excited though. I I, I keep so I keep emails in my inbox until like whatever. I, like if I'm getting something delivered, you know, and what I keep it in my inbox, and once it gets delivered, I move it to whatever folder. The very first email, the Airbnb rental nice. in Cleveland. So that's that's been in there for for a little while now. But yeah, I'm I'm excited, boys. It's to hang out with you, not for the whatever the cards, whatever. Hang out with you, boys. That's that's what it's all about. That my, heat was my first thought. Like I'm, I'm thinking to myself, well, at least it's not Atlantic City, which you know that's all right on the on the beach. So like, Swampy. like it's yeah, it's like a, 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 my, my thought was sweaty balls. I don't want to have sweaty balls. <laughs> sweaty it's, balls. It's, it's 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 the summer. It's the summer though, so we're gonna have that. But I, I wonder if Cleveland is gonna be a little bit better than Atlantic City. But I also hope, fingers crossed, that remember last year at the Chicago National, the AC didn't work for like the first day or something. Oh, like that. that's right. And it was like, mm -hmm. I remember everybody was like, everybody was on social media saying all about how terrible it was. Like, like, please, like Cleveland, like a lot of people talking about sure being awesome. AC Make sure the AC is working for us, if no, for nobody else. I would rather have AC than have Wi Fi. Just <laughs> yes. Yes. letting you know yes. that yes. is yes. not yes. even close. Yep. I would rather have no Wi Fi. If, if I have to pick, it's AC. clearly yep. the AC. Yep. yep. Three yeah. A votes here on that one. If you, if yeah. you need, but need votes from the hobby. <laughs> CP, when we were hanging out having some drinks the other week, remember we saw that commercial for that all over body deodorant? Mm -hmm. Now, now you know why we need to load up on that before the national. Definitely. <laughs> then we won't have any worries, right? <laughs> Just see, yeah. see oh. big sweaty fat guys walking around <laughs> spraying their pits as they walk through the aisles. No, it's like yeah. a cream or something you put on. Oh, there, really? You don't have to worry <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. So weird, yeah. <laughs> It was so weird, but yeah. now it was like that 72 we're hours, something like that. It wasn't like 72 hours of yeah. coverage or something like that. Give for your entire body. I'm not even weird. joking after the yeah. national don't fat guy in the heat. Come on. I was gonna yeah. say don't encourage people to do that because they won't shower then. They'll just put that 72 hour cream on and <laughs> be like, true, yeah. I'm good for the whole national. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we well, were talking about it at the, at the show yesterday. I'm, I'm I'm very excited about it. And uh, you know, like we're, I think I feel like we're, we have a handful of people we're gonna try to meet up with. Obviously, we're gonna be going with our, our buddy Mike Jones. Like it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast i hope that we meet some people i hope it'd be really cool if we met some people who we don't know like like fans that we've never met met in person like at, at the thing that'd be really cool so if you're going to the national let us know in the comments yeah let us sure. know well i don't know if we're gonna try to do a little meet and greet if people are going that would be fun but we'll we'll see but let us know and let us know are you gonna get the all over body deodorant <laughs> that's what i really want to know because you know whether or not we want to meet people, whether or not they're it'll the it'll be determined by what yeah. kind of deodorant you wear. <laughs> very Comfy welcome. shoes, snacks, so a box to make sure you have your cards, maybe some top loaders and, and fanny stuff pack. like that. And and the all body deodorant. The all body deodorant. Add, add to the list. Add it to the list. No excuse we, this year, people. No excuse. We're gonna do some content leading up to the national, right, Mike? We're gonna do oh, a couple of Wednesday I, shows, I, what we're looking to do, all those, all those things, right? Yeah, tell us all about it because you were telling me about it and I don't remember what you said. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so, I was just going to say, well, you know, maybe if it's your first time going to the National, this is only our second time, to be fair. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have some some ideas, maybe if you're a first timer. And then what we're looking for, what we're looking to accomplish at the National. I think it'll be fun. There are I have I have a checklist and one of it involves staying in line a couple of times. I'm, that's, oh, that's all gross. I'm saying. Oh, I know you hate I being know. online, EP, but I'm going to oh say I'm going to be online a couple. I'm of an adult. Places, I don't. So. I don't like to stand in line. But I don't. Have I want to. EP to just I can, walk I up to the choice. line. I can make that choice. And just I can make that choice as an adult. I can say I don't want to stand in that line. Uh, let, and let me, let me, go, go ahead. I was going to say too, if you're a YouTuber and we have a beef, we can settle things there too. Oh yeah, if we're ready to go. You know who <laughs> you, you are. <laughs> Actually, it's his home fireball. field. It's his it's home field. Fireball. We know. We know who. Oh, God. We know. Who I would pay money to see that. Like, yeah, whatever, <laughs> Joe. In, <laughs> in the so comments. <laughs> in the comments, okay, let us. If there's something you want us to talk about uh, related to national, please let us know in the comments. Like, I think we have some fun talking about that. So. 
or we'll just do what we want because that's well, we're definitely going to do that. So I'm saying if there's any irresponsible, <laughs> full circle, full circle, full circle. That's a great place to wrap it up. That was a good chat this week, and I will see you next week. Take care, guys. Adios. Hey, boys.